Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the dorkiest one of all? Oh, it's me. Hello, everybody. Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Mirror Cups for Mario Kart DS. Uh, today, we're going to start with the Banana Cup, and then we're going to move on to the Flower Cup in this one video. Uh, first character we're going to be using is the last secret character that we have unlocked right now, Waluigi. And after looking at these cards, <laughs> despite me heavily criticizing this earlier. I think I'm actually going to go with the Gold Mantis. I think I like its stats a little better than I like the Zippers. Uh, the Zipper, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was going to be that fast, and its other stats didn't really balance it out well. I feel like uh, this is going to be the char cart of choice. So if I do very well with this, I guess I ap uh, have to apologize to anyone who uses a little... Uh, crane forklift, and I guess it's more of a crane, a small little crane as a uh, vehicle of choice. And so far, like, I am kind of liking the control of this, to be honest. This is not terrible. Okay, I probably shouldn't have tried to speed ahead right there. Maybe I can block the red shell. Let's, oh, no? Okay, I'm not going to get hit by the red shell. Oh, he still has it. That's why. That's a banana, not a red shell. Uh, never mind. I thought he had a red shell, though. I think I saw one, like, on the map. Maybe I just passed it without realizing. Also, boom. Oh, come on. I, I hate getting hit by, like, the explosion of the bomb that you throw. It's kind of annoying, but what are you going to do? That's the item. I feel like bombs should only be thrown ahead if, like, you know you're going to hit someone. Otherwise, they should be just used as a keep people off your back type of tool. Oh! Look at that! Me sniping that first place from Donkey Kong right at the very end. That is good. That is very good. I mean, again, I'm liking how I'm actually getting first on all of these tracks that I didn't get first place in during my 150 run. That's honestly a nice, uh, nice little compromise, I guess. And maybe compromise is not the right word, but, you know, it's a good feeling. It makes me feel like I am actually improving a little bit. I'm not just, like, sucking for the sake of sucking. Because mirror mode is technically more difficult, I'd say. Also, I love using mushrooms here. What? Oh my god. Lakitu sometimes just chooses, like, the worst times to say, Oh, that's not part of the track. Nice landing. Not, what's with all the bombs I'm getting? I'm guess. Oh shoot, damn it. Why'd I do that? I'm guessing the game's like recognizing that I'm using Waluigi. Oh, it's like you're using Waluigi. Here, have some bombs. My god, I have to make up a lot of ground. I didn't really move anywhere. I actually got one place behind from where I was last lap. Peach is really far ahead. on. Okay, that works. Just to also see, like, where they are compared to me. Oh, man. Actually, okay, she's right there. That's not too far. Damn it, no. Come on, red shell. Red shell. Red shell. I think, well, it's too late now, I think. Maybe, maybe. Ah, just barely too late. 
I, I have no idea where Peach came from. I mean, she got third in the last race, but she really stepped up. She really wanted to win this one. I'm going to have to look out for her. Okay, here we go. Bowser Castle 2. Actually, I remember. Flower Cup... I actually had trouble with Banana Cup during my 150 run. Because I think that was where I had to actually get Luigi to get third place here. In order to just make it so I would still get the gold trophy. Because he was running away with a huge lead. And I think I got, like, third place on... Uh, Frap... Frap, Frap Snowland. Okay. Whoa! DK! What the hell? Where's the fire, buddy? I'm a crane, not a fire truck driver. <sighs> Shoot. Damn it, DK! I was gonna throw that red shell at her, not you. Also, I feel like those jumps don't really help you. I feel like it's better to stay, like, driving on the road just so you can keep your top speed. I wanted to show off the draft right there. Maybe I can get the draft right here, though. I don't think I've shown that off yet, either. that forward. I meant to throw it backwards. <laughs> oh, well. I have a pretty good buffer. I feel like even if I get, like, uh, third place and Peach gets first, I can still win. And here we go with Baby Park. Alright, here we go. It's baby time! Oh, and there's Peach getting hit immediately. Screw you, Peach. A missing item, which is... Oh, wow, Peach got a hit by a shell. Damn it, I got hit by my own. And this race is mine. Screw you, Luigi! I don't care if you are last place. You're not going to get anywhere. Okay. No, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I only got second place in one race, and that was Frap Snowland. That's only because I screwed up that beginning lap. I probably could have gotten first if I didn't do that. That in my second lap was pretty bad for that course as well. That is still an A rank, though. I will take that for sure. We get the Leaf Cup unlocked, and now we have to do the Flower Cup. So let us focus on that. Uh, for this cup, I can actually choose any character I want, uh, to be honest. Uh... Okay, sorry about that, guys. I actually had to take care of something really quick. Uh, but I am back now, and we can now uh, continue on with the rest of this video. Uh, so for the next cup, I think I'm actually going to use a standard cart, which I haven't really done yet. Uh, just to kind of go over what standard carts do, is I feel like the standard carts are, one, very, very balanced. Like, I don't think there's really even just, like, one stat that a standard cart really excels in. It's kind of like the middle road cart for the two other carts that each character has. 
And uh, if it does play to anything, it actually plays to the character's individual strengths. So, like, for example, characters like Bowser and Donkey Kong, their better attributes are, like, top speed and weight, while characters like Toad are, you know, better at handling and drifting and stuff of that nature. Uh, these are values that you can't really see offhand. They're values you kind of have to look at, like, internally in the game's coding. But they are definitely there. Like, you definitely get different results if, like, you race uh, Bowser in the Hurricane compared to, like, Toad in the Hurricane. If that makes any sense. So there are definitely some values for the kind of character you're using. Which, again, is why I tend to actually favor lightweight characters in this game as opposed to heavyweight characters. And, um, I also feel like, even though there are those values, that at the end of the day, I feel like the cards definitely, like, impact more than what the character values do. But the character values are definitely there. And in stuff when it comes to, like, you know, speed runs and time trials and stuff, that stuff is very important and can actually matter. But, uh, for the most part, I try not to, like, fixate or focus on that too much. I mean, this is a pretty casual playthrough, to be fair. I'm gonna get second place, I can already tell. Um... Yeah, second place. Almost snagged first, but that Thunderbolt just... If that came a little earlier, I probably could have done it, but nah. Eh, it is what it is. That, that was a pretty good race, considering... But yeah, every character pretty much has a standard cart. I don't think you can use any of the other standard carts. I don't think. I feel like that would be kind of weird if you could. But, um, I don't know. I tend to always choose, like, my favorites. Like, again, the Dry Bomber and Egg One and stuff of that nature. Okay, I'm actually going to try this shortcut. That shortcut can be really good if you take it in just the right fashion. AKA you don't like hit the sides, but it can be kind of hard to do that. Looks like uh, Peach is kind of hoarding on to that shell that she has. I, guess she, I think she got rid of it. I don't know, she still has it. She's waiting to use that on me. I can like, I can already tell that she's like waiting for that right moment. But, because of that, I'm going to keep this shell as long as possible. Because seriously, I'm not going to play her game. Actually, one thing I could do. Boom. Oh, I missed her. Oh, well. It was a good effort. Yeah, let's try this. Boom. No! Not a blue shell! Why? Blue shell, why did you do this to me? We weren't friends, but we were definitely getting casual a little bit. We were becoming casual friends. Ah, oh, that's so freaking rude. And it's okay, it didn't really impact my position in the race too much. And could have been a lot worse. I love, I love laying fake item boxes in places like that. It's just really, really good, and you can kind of screw people over. Mostly human players, because it can be kind of hard to focus on the two different screens at once. Also, where the hell did Peach go? I don't care. I'm taking this race. Okay, so we're back to being even. That's good. Next we got Pinball, I believe. Yep, time for Pinball. Mirrored Pinball! The only difference between uh, Pinball and Mirrored Pinball is they have a second piece of glass over the first piece of glass. Or actually... Couldn't they technically just uh, remove the piece of glass and you just play pinball without that protective screen? 
I mean, clearly that'd be really, really dangerous to do, but, uh... <laughs> just trying to think out of the box here, I guess. Also, apparently the Boo is actually not just invisible, it's also invincible. Like, you don't get hit by items as well. I never thought that was the case. I thought you could still get hit by certain things, even in your, when you're in Boo invisible form. No, apparently it's invincible too, because I remember seeing, like, in a race, like a practice race I was doing, like, I had a Boo, and then all of a sudden, like, I just, like, phased right through a shell. Damn it. Fine, Mario, you can have your my red shell. Use it on Daisy, I guess. Or Peach. Probably not even gonna do him any good, which is the sad part. Oh, Toad. Toad, what is that? What is that thing you just did? What is that thing you just did and why am I angry at you for it? Damn, I'm gonna hit the wall. Oh, and here comes Peach. Peach didn't like that I was, uh... telling her boyfriend, quote-unquote, to throw a shell at her. That would have been tragic if Toad actually missed that jump because of the shells I had. Okay, I don't want to risk it. And there we go. And Toad actually getting second is going to give me a good buffer for this last race, too. I love having a good buffer for this race so much, because again, screw Shroom Ridge. I don't know. Just not a fan. Really, really just not a fan. I actually learned something interesting when I was watching a Double Dash speedrun. Um... I guess, it may not really apply to this game, because it seems to be going, like, both ways. But, um, I actually didn't realize that in, uh, Shroom City and, uh, Shroom Bridge and Double Dash, like, on one of them, the traffic goes with you, and the other one, the traffic goes against you. I never put that together. I'm sure I've noticed it, but, like, I never really put that together for some reason. Kind of interesting how that little effects like that actually do seem to be very, very noteworthy. Well, in like Toad's Turnpike, I feel like uh, in that car cars, it like in some difficulties it goes with you, and the other ones it goes against you. It's difficulty dependent, basically. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm sorry, did you get hit, Peach? Okay, there we go. Blooper, you could, yeah, thank you. You could remove the ink now. Thank God. Okay, I think the rest of this race will be pretty good. Oh, no. Except when I hit the wall. That's never good. But yeah, we have our last few turns here, so... I think I'd like my chances of how I'll finish this. Oh, that red shell, though. Oh my god! Well, whatever, I'll take that. 
<laughs> if, it, if it means that Peach was going to get blue shelled at the end there, I'll take it. Although, if I didn't get hit by those things, I probably still would have uh, made it past the finish line in time. I just kind of choked at the end there. I thought I had it, but then traffic happened, then red shells happened, and then more traffics happened. And I still got an A rank. That's pretty good, considering. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. We only have one more weekend of the Grand Prix stuff, so... I'll see you guys next weekend for Saturday. I'll be doing the Star Cup and Leaf Cup. That'll be the next video. And for the following Sunday, I'll be doing Special Cup and Lightning Cup to finish off the rest of the Grand Prix. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.